Hello and welcome to today's session on NetSuite's Cash 360 feature. Cash 360 is a new feature embedded within NetSuite that enables customers to manage cash flow by providing a real-time view of their cash position. It includes a dashboard for monitoring receivables, payables, bank balances, along with cash flow trends and a rolling six-month forecast. The cash flow forecasting tool also helps me to develop more accurate forecasts by including additional data points, such as funding, uh, planned expenditures, forecasts, billing schedules, and it also applies historical averages to my current AP and AR accounts, uh, that transaction data to estimate out future collections and disbursements. So in a nutshell, this tool gives me the ability to project out my cash needs and evaluate my company's liquidity position, which is really critical to ensuring I have the cash reserves necessary to maintain day-to-day -day operations. That, that's something that newer businesses especially struggle with sometimes. Transitioning over into my NetSuite account, and I'll put on my uh, controller hat here for the moment, logged into that controller role. And I'll start by navigating to my Cash360 dashboard via my drop-down lists. So here I can view, uh, once we get this loaded, so here I can view my current bank balance along with my current receivables and payables, uh, which represent down here, we see monthly inflows and outflows. This is on a rolling six month or three month basis. And these amounts along with monthly opening balances provide the system most of what it needs to generate my cash forecast. These AR and AP amounts are also summarized uh, in real time charts that show me my 30, 60, 90 day breakdown and a total number of transactions, customers, uh, vendors that make up each pie. I can also view or approve invoices directly from this dashboard, uh, view vendor bills. I can uh, access my AP aging, AR aging reports as well, drill into those if I need more detail, pull up my you know, out of the box AR aging report, gives me a good 30, 60, 90 day view of my, all my different customers, what their you know, balances are, buy those different, date ranges, I can also adjust my aging options so we could use four bands, refresh that, or even customize the report to add filter, filters or columns as, as I see fit. And of course, those reports drillable as well. Um, so now that we've talked about AR and AP, you can see my cash forecast here. Uh, what about other future activity that could impact my forecast that isn't necessarily a NetSuite transaction yet? Well, I can still account uh, for those manually in a couple of different ways. First is by using account categories. Uh, this allows me to group together groups of accounts in my inflow and outflow netting. So I can add income accounts. This would be a group of my um, different other income accounts that I would want to include and generate a forecast based off of. Uh, I can add expense categories as well, salary and wages. So these are the different uh, accounts that I'm including in that account category. And what I'm telling the system to do is look at our historical rolling three months and use those numbers to forecast out my rolling average and include that my cash forecast. So even though these aren't transactions in the system yet, we can still account for them. I can also add uh, manually add additional values, uh, planned capital investment or financing charges. These would be outflows, uh, but I can also do inflows if we have you know known funding source in August. These are all dated, so I can have that inflow here as well. I can set these as recurring inflows or outflows and um, how often they should recur and whether it's monthly, daily, period, however you wanna set that up. So now I can see this back in my cash forecast chart or cash, cash forecast table. This is going to show me kind of the math behind the, the forecast that it's generating. Um, so I can see my opening balance by month 
Uh, I can see all my monthly inflows to include my accounts receivable, that dividend income account category, it's forecasted out for me, and that funding in August that we added as an additional value. Can also see my outflows, so all my AP, my salary and wages uh, extrapolated, you know, rolling trended number there, my, my other outflows that I defined uh, in those effective months. And ultimately my net balance and closing balance, which coming back to my dashboard, gives me my result, my forecast, uh, and lets me better understand my position. So this tool really takes advantage of NetSuite's unified platform by aggregating all the different types of transactions, accounts, and assumptions. It allows me to define those in the system necessary to better understand my cash position.